time. It's a concept we all grapple with. But what happens when we trust in a timing greater than our own? This is the question we're exploring today. When we surrender to a rhythm beyond our control, we open ourselves to the wisdom of divine timing. We're stepping into a space where clocks and calendars hold no sway, where the ebb and flow of life is directed by a higher power. Ready to be uplifted? Journey with us. And remember, stay with us till the end for a powerful prayer related to our journey today. Today we're delving into Isaiah 60, 22, and the profound wisdom it offers. This verse, tucked away in the Old Testament, is a beacon of hope and trust. It says, When the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. Simple, yet incredibly powerful. It's God's promise to us, His children. A promise that He's in control, that He has a plan, and that He will execute it at exactly the right time. Not a moment too soon, not a second too late. It's a testament to God's perfect timing which often diverges from our own. We may be eager, impatient even for things to happen according to our schedule, but God's timing as this verse illustrates is not our own. His schedule is divine, perfect, and meticulously planned. These words serve as a gentle reminder of a timing beyond our understanding. How often have we set timelines, only to realize things don't go as planned? We've all been there, meticulously planning our lives, from our careers to our relationships only to find ourselves off course. We map out our visions for success or happiness, but life has a funny way of veering us onto unexpected paths. It's easy to feel discouraged, to question why our plans are not coming to fruition on our timeline. But here's a comforting thought, our vision is limited, but God sees the entire timeline of our lives. Our plans are often based on what we think is best for us, right now. But God, in His infinite wisdom, takes into account the whole journey. He knows the lessons we need to learn, the growth we need to undergo, and the blessings we are yet to receive. Our vision is limited but God sees the entire timeline of our lives. Let's hear from those who've experienced the wonder of God's timing firsthand. Meet John, a man who thought his time had come when he faced a life-threatening illness. But as he tells it, At my lowest, I felt a calm. I knew God had other plans for me. John is now a cancer survivor, using his second chance at life to uplift others. And then there's Maria, who waited years for the love of her life. I thought I had missed my chance at love but, God had a different timeline. Now I'm blessed with a loving husband and two beautiful children. Maria's story reminds us that good things come to those who wait. Lastly we have Tom. I was stuck in a job I hated. I prayed for a change. It didn't come immediately but when it did, it was better than I could have imagined. Tom now runs a successful non-profit organization. God had other plans. Waiting can be a blessing in disguise. It's in those moments of pause, of anticipation that we often find ourselves growing the most. You see, when we wait, we're not just idly standing by, we're learning. We're learning to be patient. And patience, my friends, is a virtue that can't be rushed nor can it be forced. It's something that comes from within, something that's nurtured over time. But it's not just about patience, it's about resilience too. Resilience to endure the wait, to weather the storm. And resilience, like patience, is born out of waiting. Most importantly, waiting teaches us trust. Trust in God's plan, in His timing. Because when we trust, we let go. We surrender our need for control, and we open ourselves up to the possibility of something greater. Something beyond our comprehension. Trust is the key. Trust in the wait. Trust in the process. Trust in God's timing. It's worth it. Every time. Faith isn't just believing but trusting especially in the moments of uncertainty. It's the quiet confidence that whispers in the stillness of our hearts, reminding us that we are not alone. Faith is like a beacon, a guiding light in the darkest of storms, providing comfort and assurance. And in this journey we call life, faith becomes our compass, guiding us towards God's timing, His divine plan. But trusting in His timing often means letting go of our own. It's about surrendering our timelines, our blueprints, our carefully laid plans, it's about embracing the unknown, the uncertain, the unseen. Why? Because faith acknowledges that there is a grander design at work, a divine orchestration that we may not fully comprehend. It's about believing that even when things don't go our way, they are still going the right way, God's way. Trusting in God's timing means surrendering our need for control. Let's delve deeper into understanding God's timing, this grand cosmic clock that orchestrates life as we know it. It's like a symphony with every note, every rest, every crescendo, perfectly timed, and we are the musicians following the conductor's baton. Consider the seasons of life. Just as nature doesn't rush, yet everything is accomplished, our lives too have their own seasons. 
the winter of hardships gives way to the spring of new beginnings, followed by a summer of growth, and finally, the autumn of maturity. Each season has its own pace, its own rhythm, its own time. And then there's the greater purpose. Sometimes we're held back only to be propelled forward. The delays, the detours, they often lead to unforeseen blessings. They're not setbacks but setups for a grand comeback. They're not hindrances but stepping stones to a higher purpose. And let's not forget about character building. Waiting refines us, molds us, and prepares us for what's ahead. It's like the sculptor chipping away at the marble, revealing the masterpiece within. Waiting is not a passive act, it's an active process of becoming. So remember, when you're in the thick of waiting, you're not being punished, you're being prepared. Prepared for the blessings, the growth, the transformation that's coming your way. Waiting refines us, molds us, and prepares us for what's ahead. How does one embrace God's timing in their daily life, you might ask? It's a journey that begins with daily reflection. Spend quiet moments in prayer, meditation or reading scriptures. This deepens your connection with God, helping you understand His teachings and promises. His word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Next, find fellowship. Share your journey, your hopes, fears and dreams with fellow believers. They can provide support, encouragement and perspective. We're not meant to walk this journey alone, but in community, lifting each other up. Lastly, embrace the present moment. It's easy to get caught up in what's next, but there's beauty and purpose in the here and now. Each moment is a gift, part of a bigger plan. So, find joy in the current moment. Not because it's perfect, but because it's a step in your divine journey. Remember, find joy in the current moment, knowing it's part of a bigger plan. Life might not always unfold as we plan, but in God's timing, every piece falls into place. As we've journeyed through this exploration of divine timing, we've seen how our plans can often diverge from God's. Yet in these moments of divergence, we're given the gift of patience, a virtue that not only builds resilience, but also deepens our faith. We've learned that understanding God's timing is about recognizing the seasons of our lives, acknowledging that delays and detours often serve a greater purpose, and that the process of waiting refines and prepares us for what lies ahead. Embracing God's timing is a daily practice. It involves reflection, fellowship with other believers, and finding joy in the present moment. It's about surrendering control and trusting in a timeline greater than our own. So as we wrap up, let's hold on to this profound wisdom. Remember Isaiah 60, 22, when the time is right, God will make it happen. Trust, believe and embrace the divine journey tailored for you. Remember, the essence of faith is not just in believing but in trusting. Trusting in God's timing. And while waiting may sometimes seem unbearable, know that each moment is a carefully woven thread in the grand tapestry of your life. So as you navigate through the ebbs and flows of time, let patience be your compass and faith your guide. Let us now open our hearts so that we may receive the blessings targeted as we offer this prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today to seek strength and patience. We know that your timing is perfect, even when we grow impatient. Help us to trust in you to have faith in your divine plan, and to embrace the journey you have set before us. As we navigate the currents of life, may we comfort in the knowledge that you are always with us, guiding and protecting us. Grant us the wisdom to understand that every moment, every trial, every joy and sorrow is a step closer to the fulfillment of your plan. Help us to have patience in the silence and faith in the uncertainty. Teach us to upon your timing, to trust in your promises and to believe in your love, Strengthen our hearts so that we may endure with grace, persevere with hope, and walk in faith and patience. And as we conclude our journey today, we pray that this message of patience and faith will resonate within us, serving as a beacon of light in the darkest times. In your holy name, we pray, Amen. Remember life is not about rushing through moments but embracing them, for every moment is a part of God's divine timing. Moreover, patience is not just about waiting, it's about how we behave while waiting. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and share with others who might benefit from it. Together let's spread the message of faith and patience. Until next time keep the faith and embrace the wait.